Hey everyone, welcome to our next trip we did at Christmas time last year where we headed down to Kendanup for a few days and then worked our way across to Northcliffe for a few days. Our first free camp spot was at Boscobel Hall. Boscobel is an old town founded back in 1913 and is located not far from Kojanup and is just off Albany Highway. This hall is a beautiful old hall, not sure if it gets used anymore, but there are still some chairs and tables inside. This is an awesome little camp spot. Here is the old school site. And here is the old tennis courts. Driving through Kojanup. You can just see the Sterling Ranges in the background there. We are now on our way to Kendanup where we stayed at a place we found on Hip Camp called Mondarup Escape. Mondorop Escape is a small vineyard where they only make a couple of wines, a Riesling and a Cab Sav. Dogs are allowed and there are awesome views of the Stirling Ranges.
It was cool walking through the rows of vines. The grapes were quite small, as you will see in the next photo. This is the homestead that is on the vineyard and they let it out as a B&B. Playing Richard's new game he got for Christmas, Trionomos. It was actually a really good game. And yeah, Bella just chilling out. A view of the vineyard from the road. The gardens around the homestead are beautiful. We had a bit of a chance to walk around. Gorgeous sunrise. Awesome views from the veranda of the homestead. We actually did some wine tasting on Boxing Day and of course I bought a couple of bottles of wine. We did a day trip to Albany where Richard wanted to hike Bold Head which is on the tip of the Flinders Peninsula which is down near Frenchman's Bay. I didn't do the hike because one it was a 16 kilometer hike and I didn't want to do it. And secondly, we also had Bella, so someone had to look after Bella. Once I dropped Richard off, I went down to check out the Murray Road boat ramp, or King George Sound. Bella and I then went and did a little bit of the Point Possession Heritage Trail, which is between Smiles Cove and Whaling Cove. It is an awesome trail to do, with some awesome scenery and some great views. As I came around this little bend, you could see Albany and the port of Albany. Bella and I just chilling out after our walk. Also checked out Frenchman Bay Beach, just waiting for Richard to finish his walk. The 
next few photos are taken by Richard on his walk at Bold Head. How awesome is this view from Bald Head? After we picked up Richard from his walk, we just took a little drive through Albany before heading back to camp. How cool is this idea? A stick library for dogs. And there are some great murals. Took a drive through Kendon up. Didn't take us long, it's quite a small town, but a very pretty town. You can also camp at the Kendon up agricultural ground, and it's $25 for powered sites. $20 for unpowered sites and dogs are allowed. On our last day in Kendanup, it was a bit rainy and miserable. Richard got up early and did the walk at Mount Taliabulup. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. And I stayed behind as someone had to look after Bella. As you can see, there was not much of a view.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for our next episode in Northcliffe.